Hello and welcome to my garden. Today I'll be doing a spot of DIY. Uh, some sifting of the compost I kept from the potatoes last year. I'm going to try and reuse it this year. Uh, that's using a rough garden sieve. And again some sowing of seeds. Uh, I've got some peas to put in. The uh, seeds I sowed last weekend were quite you know, Quite prolific. The, uh, the the tomatoes have started to come through. There's some of the uh, brassicas are coming through as well. But overall, um, it's a, a gentle start, a slow start. We'll see how things go. But uh, for now, I'll spin you around and I'll uh, I'll show you the couple of repairs that I have to do right now. Well, what you can see here is a damaged window on the little plastic greenhouse that I've had for a number of years and also down here you can see I've got a new water butt and I've just put in a connecting pipe that I'm going to add to the uh, the other pipe that, that sorry the other water butt that I've got which I'll join in in pair now what what I've done with this one is I'll just move it a little bit closer to it so you can see is I've put a hole slightly off centre. Let's just get this moving. I don't know if you can see here the seam where it's joined from the the mould runs all the way down, all the way down there on that side, and I've put a hole just off centre. I didn't want to drill into the seam in case I caused a weakness and it's split but I want this one so that the the top you can see the bottom there is on this side here on the outside and there is the connector that I'm going to add it to the other tank and what we have on this side is this is the the water butt I'm going to connect it to I don't need access to that tap but if I join it at this band here which is where I've put the other one then what I'll be able to do is join that other other tank to, to it and I'll have two joint together it means that when it fills up it fills up from the, from the bottom it gets to here and starts coming across and fills the other water barrel and then it just keeps on going up eventually all the way and I've then got a full barrel here and a full barrel on the other one and when when they're both full it means that I'll have twice the head pressure coming down so I have a good amount of pressure coming out the other, other side from the tap but for now I'll just put you this side and I'll drill away see how things go here Just using a hole saw. And I'll put it in here. Well, there's only one bar in this one as well. I don't know. I should have left them fully charged last time I used them. Oh, that was quick. Right. Another difficult part.
went easier than I imagined. It's got the lid back on. it in place what I've got to do now is I've got to put a hole in this around about here so I can attach the down pipe so I'll put you on pause while I go get that drill sorted out so here we go which side do I want to drill it from Lasted. So there we have it, that's the down pipe attached, screwed through there. Now previously I'd put a clamp around here, if you can see on there, I have a clamp here that holds that in place. None of these are actually fitted, they're all just press fitted together, not jointed again, all dry clamped. So hopefully these will stay together. I don't know if you can see on the other side there, I've got two more. I used to have the butt that was here and that butt joint together at the taps at the bottom by a bit of garden hose, but I disconnected that. So I've got two independent ones. It's sitting a bit lopsided if you can see. So I'll have to go over there and investigate. But those sides are quite full. These ones are empty. So now, I think it's Storm Norman, named by the Spanish. It's due to arrive this weekend. 
So hopefully any rain I should be able to catch. Right, that's that bit of it, this video done. There's screws on this particular part because this catches the door and holds the door in place. I'm back, so I'm going to have to take that little door stop off and then see if I can sort out the damaged bit at the bottom there. So if you bear with me. This is a Yankee screwdriver, but I'm not going to put it on Yankee mode to reverse these out in case I put too much pressure on the plastic and break it. Good many years since I got this. It's a, I think it was a Rion or Rion plastic greenhouse. So that's all these screws out. You can see the design of it. Yeah, you got this. rebate in there and obviously that sits in there. I can't, I can't oh yeah I can I can easily pull it out and gentle. That's good for me to be gentle. See it just, it's just held in place there. Right. And you can see the bow in this one. So I'm gonna to have to try and take this out. Now, just in here, you can see the retaining little lock that we've got in there. And it was one of those that was held in place. See, it's just a little clip. And what I did was, I grabbed it like this underneath and pulled. Unfortunately, the top one snapped off, so I just had to push it back in, the little hole there. I don't know if you can see that one. Is it coming very well? It's a hole there. So it's joined at this location and down at the bottom there. So what I'll do now is I'll switch the camera off, try and see if I can manhandle this out without breaking it. Right, I couldn't do what I was thinking on. My idea was to take this post, this post out, put a stick of wood down the middle of it and try and straighten up that way. But it's so interlocked and all joined together I couldn't do that. So I thought, well, let's brace it from the outside with this bit of wood. So I've measured up, it's 58. I've got some wood that thankfully measures 58. And I've braced it across to put this plumb I've tried to get the window back in and I'm just screwing these in place. In the hope that it all holds it together. So I've got one on the top post, one on the cross post, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the bottom. And I've used 100 mil screws, which goes through this wood, which is normally three by two. The thickness of this is, well, it's 70 millimeters. So that's just under three. So overall, that's four and a bit. What's that here? 
120 in total that brace there now so we'll see how that goes now the reason I wanted to repair this is because there's been a howling gale blowing through there and it gets really cold over night time we're having a, a I don't know a, a, a late spring is that the way to look at it but we'll see how things go so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll pop this out and fingers crossed it all comes together there we go and it holds so far let's have a closer inspection so I've managed to get the window back in it's under quite a bit of tension still but that's not too bad and I've closed the door you can see the door goes all the way across still a bit out of whack you can see just there there's one of those screws coming through there uh, it's still a bit out of position here so it's not perfect you can see it's quite it's the bow's worst down the bottom there I can, yeah, I can feel that now I don't know if that's because I've been using paraffin heat in here and the plastics just had enough but we'll see how things go but it's interesting that the bow's on the outside here and not on the inside uh, right well what I'll do is I'll put this back together and uh, I'll come back to you well there we are that's the uh, door stop put back in place that's the door put in place and locked see the window is closed it wasn't at the beginning it's it's still a little bit, I'll have to try and push it from the inside. Let's do that now. Mm. Let's just see, there's a straight edge next to it. See the, I don't know if you can see the ball below. It's a little bit out, and but just take it all the way down the bottom, and you can see right down there. There's a gap. There you can see the gap that's at the bottom there. So it's booing, booing around this region here really badly still, and that's where on the other side the window was popping out. So it's a temporary repair we'll have to wait and see how things progress I was just thinking about the comment I made about because of using paraffin heater in here but I want to use the paraffin heater in here in winter and what that means is the temperature internally only gets to about 18 or 20 turn it off during the day and that gets to about 26 maximum uh, right let's uh, go for the uh, the close so thank you for watching it's been a long one I think what I'll do is I'll probably end up speeding up parts of this video I wish I could have sped it up in real life that would have been much better but uh, it's all sorted now the uh, the woods reasonably firm there's no howling gale blowing in the window here so well it's a bodge job but it's done and that's all that matters right i'll end this video here because it's taking longer than i'd anticipated and what i'll do is i'll use another video uh, to show some more seed sowing and when i sort out the compost for the potatoes and some fuchsia i got some fuchsia from little of all places it looked quite nice so i don't know which one it is it doesn't say what type it is it just says outdoor fuchsia hybrid um, it's got a nice flower on it which I don't know if it's Mrs Popple or if it's Winston Churchill or something like that but it's, uh, it looks quite nice so what I'll do is I'll say uh, that's it wrap up for now and thank you for watching TTFN <laughs>